local school district claims Norfolk Southern dropped a lethal cocktail of chemicals on buildings, playgrounds, and athletic fields within their community. Yeah, that's why the Blackhawk School District says it just filed a lawsuit against Norfolk Southern, saying it wants to be sure that the company makes things right. KDK's Megan Schiller talked with the district attorney about why this is a lawsuit that is first of its kind. Megan. Yeah, this 27 page lawsuit that attorney says is different because he says it's challenging Norfolk Southern to, quote, do the right thing and to commit to monitoring the future health and safety of the children that are in that school district. And the district wants Norfolk Southern to also cover the costs when it comes to cleaning up the spaces where these children learn and play. The Blackhawk School District says it's challenging rail giant Norfolk Southern on behalf of the kids. The end goal is to get uh, Norfolk Southern to do the right thing here. And the right thing here is to uh, provide the funds necessary to do the things that the Blackhawk School District needs to do to safeguard its, its uh, students and, it, and its residents. Uh, and not at the expense of the taxpayers. Attorney Tom King represents the Blackhawk School District in Beaver County, heavily impacted, he says, by the toxic train derailment, evacuation, and burn. So this toxic uh, cloud, uh, the second toxic cloud as well, uh, came upon the, the Blackhawk School District property and its buildings and the, the, the pl places that are occupied by uh, the, the almost 2,500 kids in the Blackhawk School District and our and our staff and and parents and people who visit our schools the lawsuit demands norfolk southern commit to cleaning up the quote lethal cocktail of chemicals it says the company dumped on the district's properties we're concerned about what effects uh, this toxic uh, uh, cloud has had clouds have had uh, and the materials in them on our property on our buildings on our vents on our air on our water on our quality of life um, and we are. Uh, we believe that there should be monitoring going on to ensure that the health and safety are maintained of the kids in the Blackhawk School District, and that the, and that they're protected from future events uh, in which we had no control, no part, and uh, weren't consulted, uh, frankly. And it doesn't want the taxpayers to pay for the cleanup costs, but for Norfolk Southern to quote do the right thing. We believe that they were negligent with respect to the the original accident, and the, and then the intentional blast of the of the of the additional material is is something that's being uh, debated everywhere, including in the legislature in Pennsylvania. Who pulled the trigger is is the is the question. Uh, who made that decision to to blow up that additional material and send it uh, hurling into the Blackhawk School District? And the attorney says he believes justice could be served in the form of a jury trial. He said since he just filed the lawsuit, he doesn't even think it's been served yet to Norfolk Southern. We did reach out to the rail company for comment, and we've yet to hear back. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News. Megan, thanks.